here on my way home from work. I'm trying something different tonight, doing 60 FPS. I've only had a few uh, videos like that. I might start doing it more regularly. We will see. There's a low light setting on this camera, so it'll drop the FPS frames per second if it's, uh, if it's too dark. Because that's the problem with higher frame rates is instead of mess up the video quality if uh, it's too dark. Now, it might be fine, because I got this big light on my bike. So, the lens is capturing a lot of light. We'll see how it turns out. I haven't done 60 FPS so much in the past, because it hadn't really been supported. But it's more supported nowadays. Uh, I think people have up-to-date technology faster computers and whatnot so I think more people could take advantage of it so I think it might be worth it worth my time and effort to upload in 60 FPS still not sharing 4 4k resolution we'll still be doing 1080 but I need a new uh, I need a new camera if I want to do a higher resolution image. I think it's pretty high res as it is. 1080p HD high definition. Woo. Little chilly. Little chilly. If you have the right type of, you know, if you have a good a computer with a lot of good uh, performance capabilities uh, and you use like the Chrome browser, internet browser, you should be able to see this video in 60 frames per second if you wanted. Can you notice the difference between 30 and 60? Yes, you can. Basically, it's a smoother image and a higher frame rate. So for faster moving scenes, like on my bike, it can make it. It can make a difference. In the past, I've always used 30 FPS, but you can still watch in 30 FPS. You can still watch this video in 30 FPS. I don't want this guy doing anything. I'm thinking I'm going to go straight, but I'm not. I'm going back here! Woo. Gotta sort of hurry home here, because there's a rain coming that I did not expect. And I hope I don't get a flat tire, because I'm really... I've really been barreling through this area with my skinny tires, high pressure skinny tires. And uh, there's a lot of debris in the road around here. Uh, I ride more in the actual road and not on the edge, in the gutter over there. I might have a better chance not hitting something sharp, but you never know. The risk you take for going off the beaten path. Oh, this path is pretty darn smooth and brand new. Haven't even built the apartment complexes over there. Haven't really even had a lot of cars on, on the road back there. This road is older. Still pretty smooth though. I usually break with just one or two fingers because you don't need 
more than that. You really don't. Whether you're uh, mountain biking or road cycling, you really don't need more than two fingers per brake lever. Or lever, if you wish. <laughs> uh, if you grab a whole hunk of brake lever, there's a great chance you'll brake too hard, go over the bars, or uh, I don't know, do something to your brakes such that they just don't work at all. That's a potential risk, I guess. If you're, you know, if you think you're about to have an accident and you get startled, you panic and you grab a bunch of brake lever and squeeze real tight, I guess there's a chance you could break your cable I mean you know if it's not securely tightened down it could not break but it would pop off gotta remain cool gotta keep it cool keep a cool head like my head right now and I'm freezing oh man oh. should have used my skull cap today it was warmer earlier though. Not so warm right now. Nobody around. Nobody around. I can see cars clearly coming from the right, but I can't from the left. So maybe I'll make a left so I can see traffic coming from the right. So I got plenty of time to react. I got plenty of time to react. I'll just go this way. I'll make a right. I'll go back behind this guy. I don't think I've gone this direction this way before. Just a little scary there. It's a blind spot. Actually warming up right now, but the thing with your head though is that your head doesn't really ah, I, don't, I don't think your head really warms up when you're exercising. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's let's just think it through here. Let's think. As you're exercising, you're pulling more blood to other parts of your body, like your muscles. And you're pulling blood, potentially in the extreme case, away from your brain. Which would suggest you'd have less in your head. Maybe? I don't know. And uh, your brain would freeze. <laughs> uh, that's not what would happen, by the way. Or is it? Uh, let's go right. I mean left. Now my brain did just freeze there for a second. It's Monday night. On my way home. Getting a little exercise in. I want to extend my commute, but it's getting colder and colder. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> but uh, maybe next video. I did a longer video not too long ago. It was less than an hour long, but you know, whatever. That's the thing about when it gets cold. You know, forget about your own body. You gotta think of the batteries and the camera. They wear out a lot faster. Uh, 
pretty much twice as fast. So I find that my batteries on my GoPro camera, they last like maybe, it depends on what you're filming in. I'm filming in 60 frames per second now, so maybe less, but normally at 1080p, 30 frames per second, nothing else special turned on. Uh, I'll get like maybe, I don't know, an hour and a half. Of recording time with the battery with one battery it might be half that though when it's cold go bike blogger go Absolutely nobody behind me. Make a Yui. 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 Thanks for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed my ride home from work tonight. Do it all over again tomorrow. See you later.